Welcome to the Terrain Navigator Pro Quick Overview Series. This is a quick overview of the key features of TNP Mobile, including how to create tracks and markers and sync those with your web planner or TNP desktop. Hello, in a few minutes I wanted to overview some of the features in Terrain Navigator Pro's mobile application, whether you're working on an iPhone or an Android system phone. Okay, I have two arrows there. One just kind of to remind you that this is a robust application that works outside of cell phone coverage. Uh, so I'm put it in airplane mode for this purpose of the demonstration. Uh, in the main window, there's nine primary icons. You, the ones that you're likely to use most often are projects for projects that you've already created or brought in through the web, through the TNP cloud and active projects, which are new projects that you're going to create directly from the uh, application itself. Okay, let's go ahead and create a new project. This is the page you get. You can start a new project either by creating a track or by placing a marker. Whichever one you choose, the next screen you'll get is this. It's going to ask you to name the project, you can call it whatever you like, and start. Uh, I've elected to start with a photo. Uh, I could have done an audio, a video, or just a plain marker. All of these, of course, are geo-referenced and will appear uh, in your other devices as well, such as the Terrain Navigator Pro desktop or the web planner. Okay, this is the photo. I'm going to use it. It's going to ask me to name it. That's the default name. I can certainly overwrite that and write a description. And the coordinates are the default coordinates, but I can certainly adjust those within the settings of the TNP mobile app. I'm recording as well now. I, it goes from uh, red to green and you'll see that the total distance at the end will have increased and so will the active time and so, so forth. I'm walking. This is a geo photo I've taken uh, that you'll see in a little bit. It's been tagged for removal and I want to make sure there's no misunderstanding. This is a birdhouse that was placed um, and we need to figure out whether or not this needs to be removed. I also captured this with a mark that was a photo. Okay, this is a summary of the distance of the track. I just turned off the track. It's a fifth of a mile and I was out there for approximately five minutes because I was walking slowly. I've now stopped the recording. There is no active project at this point. So I'm going to go to projects. When I open projects, I'm going to choose the, the project. Uh, there's only one here, so I'm going to use this project. And I'm going to look at the map, and I can see where I've walked on the track. Uh, the green represents the start, and the red flag is the ending. And you can see where I've taken photos that are geo-referenced. If I click on or touch, I should say, one of the icons for the photos or one of the marks, then I can get information uh, such as the details or I can show the media itself. And here's an example of the media. Of course, all of this will be brought into the TNP Web Planner and TNP Desktop if you set up sync. For example, here is the track and the markers viewed in the TNP Web Planner edit mode. And here is the track and markers with information in the TNP Desktop. Thank you for watching this video regarding Terrain Navigator Pro. To learn more, please visit terrainnavigator.com or call 1-800-627-7236, extension 204.